about the start of the She will speak first. Okay. And then and then the mass starts. Okay. So this who's this is This who? is Vanessa Perez. She's um Okay, so she's, she's gonna a, speak first. She's gonna speak first. Okay, then, then I then begin the after this. Yep. I got it. Gotcha. Thank you.
fellow teachers, staff, families, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. My three years at SEL have taught me a lot. At first, if I'm being honest, I didn't really want to come to this school. I had nothing against it really, it's just that I was still in the mindset of my old friends, my people, who were all going to a different school. But now those people are all foreign to me, merely pictures on my walls and pictures on the internet. Now I have new people, people I'm so close with, people and things that make me a better person, and people and things that make this graduation bittersweet. A little bit more sweet than bitter though. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to my family, my teachers, my classmates, and my friends for watching each of us grow and for being there to lend a shoulder to cry on, for always being there to lift each other up, for being there right by my side fighting my battles with me. You guys truly made me feel loved, valued, and appreciated. Wherever we may go, high school and beyond, may we go far. And whatever we do, most importantly, may we be happy. To the class of 2021, we did it. Welcome to the graduation of my people, the class of 2021. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. How nice to be here in person. God bless you today. Let us begin our mass of thanksgiving for this wondrous event. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we come here with gratitude to God for all his benefits and blessings, especially during this difficult year. And we also ask for pardon for our sins and offenses before we enter into these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, the Father of every gift, we confess that all we have and are comes down from you. Teach us to recognize the effects of your boundless care and to love you with a sincere heart and with all our strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. A kind mouth multiplies friends and appeases enemies, and gracious lips prompt friendly greetings. Let your acquaintances be many, but one in a thousand your confidants. When you gain a friend, first test him, and be not too ready to trust him. For one sort is a friend when it suits him, but he will not be with you in time of distress. Another is a friend who becomes an enemy and tells of the quarrel to your shame. Another is a friend, a boon companion, who will not be with you when sorrow comes. When things go well, he is your other self and lords it over your servants. But if you are brought low, he turns against you 
and avoids meeting you. Keep away from your enemies. Be on your guard with your friends. A faithful friend is a sturdy shelter. He who finds one finds a treasure. A faithful friend is beyond price. No sum can balance his worth. A faithful friend is a life-saving remedy, such as he who fears God finds. For he who fears God behaves accordingly, and his friend will be like himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will be, the response will be, the Lord made us, we belong to him. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. The Lord made us, we belong to him. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, for it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My first impulse is what we heard already in the beautiful greeting, and that is thank you. First of all, Deo gracias, thank you to God. Thank you for this graduation, which is unique, because we had a very different year. And so I feel that this is the graduation, firstly, of our young men and women here before us. But it is also, in a sense, a graduation of the parents. You made it. And our wonderful principal, Ms. McGarry, and our vice principal, who took such beautiful charge these last few months, Ms. Heberstreit. 
and the teachers. And you know, often you hear, we want to thank the staff. And in no way do I mean that that's secondary. In fact, I think of a staff that I need more and more these days to hold you up. So these are the people that hold us up, that keep us going. All of you who have made wonderful sacrifices so that we could get through safely and that now hopefully we will proceed in short time uh, as they say in a more normal fashions. But thank you, all of you. Thank you, God bless you. Secondly, I'd like to mention that while you're saying farewell to your school, I know that you are not saying farewell to your church, to God, to your community of faith. And one of the ways that you don't say farewell to the church, but you say hello, is by your active participation, especially as God offers you a sacrament called confirmation. And even at this, in these days, people are enrolling for next year so that they will prepare and still be formed, just as you are formed in high school with many subjects, with many topics, with many challenges. So to meet all of that, God gives you help, especially in the sacraments. Confirmation is a sacrament, a gift that he's eager to give you. The coming of the Holy Spirit is promised with multiple infinite gifts to help you in your lives so that you will be, as the gospel said, the seed that fell on rich soil. The rich soil is God's soil and not settle for the other ways that the seed fell on dangerous, thorny, or arid dirt and didn't have a chance to grow and to be uh, flourish. But we have a chance to be happy and fulfilled, and that is through our relationship with God and with one another, especially in service to those in need. So consider the confirmation, and you're saying a big hello to your community, to God. Lastly, yeah, I did say lastly. <laughs> you won't have to worry. <sighs> lastly, at such gatherings as a graduation, you will hear advice from everybody, from astronauts to teachers to actors, uh, all kinds of people that are invited to speak and they give all kinds of advice. Much of it is good. But my only advice, I had to turn to our Blessed Mother. She gave the best advice at the wedding feast of Cana when they ran out of wine. And they came to the Blessed Mother to say, ask your son to help us. And you remember what she replied. Do whatever he tells you. Whatever he tells you, that you do. That's the best advice. However, we can't just pretend. Let me give you one example. One day a young man went to a young lady and he said, God told me last night to date you. And she said, that's funny. Yesterday I had a dream and God told me not to date you. So we can't accommodate for our intentions. We got to discern, we got to pray, we got to consult, we got to think. And then what God tells us to do will be there. It may not always be easy, but it is the right way. Our Blessed Mother knows. So do whatever he tells you to do. And how do we know? By coming to Mass, by hearing the Word, by receiving communion worthily. Then we know what our friend and Savior, Jesus Christ, wants us to do. God bless you. Please stand. And now we will offer our prayer to the faithful. 
But before we begin, let us have just a few moments of silence to pray to God from our own hearts for our very personal needs in our lives. And then we will have the, the reading. I invite those who will read the prayer of the faithful, please come forward. For these prayers that we've prayed silently, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we offer these prayers. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our for the leaders of the world, that they will work together to promote the good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice throughout our country, that we may live, we will learn to live in peace with all of our brothers and sisters, no matter their race, religion, the difference between us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our St. Catherine Labore community, that they will continue to form their minds and hearts of all students, allowing them to grow in faith and intellect. We pray, to, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the class of 2021, that we excel in everything we do, and that we carry the love of Christ with us always, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for those who have helped us achieve excellence, for our parents, relatives, teachers, school, staff, clergy, and community members, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer any form of illness or infirmity may find relief from their pain, meaning in their struggles and healing in body, mind, and spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions that we now recall in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We make all these prayers with joyful hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Butterfly. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. God grant. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Butterfly, see? <laughs> For the gifts you have bestowed, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly begging that what you have conferred upon us in our unworthiness, we may give back to the glory of your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death and, uh, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, with our patron, Saint Catherine Labore, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever the peace of Jesus, your friend and Savior, be with you always. And, with your and now with a sincere but handless uh, greeting, we offer the sign of peace. God bless. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Since we receive Holy Communion these days in silence, it is at this moment that we say together, the body of Christ, amen. amen. Communion Antiphon, how can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The chalice of salvation I will raise, and I will call on the name of the Lord. You may be seated, and those who wish to receive Holy Communion will form. There will be two stations for Holy Communion.
people on the sides, if you wish to receive Holy Communion, please come to the center. You may come at this time, the people that are sitting on the sides. Thank you. Today is the feast day of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Yesterday was the feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the two hearts united. And so we offered a prayer to our Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Please stand. <clears throat> o God, who have given to us as spiritual food the saving sacrament of your Son, which we have offered to you in thanksgiving, grant that being strengthened by gifts of courage and joy, we may serve you more devotedly and be worthy of still further blessings through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Even though the Mass is ended, stay in peace because we have more. Thanks be to God. Please be seated.
we are so proud to recognize the wonderful accomplishments of our graduates. Many have been with us since preschool, others for a shorter period of time. We are privileged to have been able to watch you grow and mature into fine young adults. Father Alfred, parents, teachers, and friends, I am very pleased to present to you the members of the graduating class of 2021. Please come forward to receive your diploma when your name is called. Allison Rose C. Rodriguez. Vanessa Perez. Emma Tan Lay. Kaylin Nadia Magpock. Denise Heather Flores. Joshua Ryan Valadez Montenegro. Hannah Moosey. Nadia Lambera. Cruz Joseph Rodriguez. Lauren Arcila Nanato. Alyssa Elena Rivas. Ashley Noesca. <laughs> Angie Rodriguez Lucetero. <laughs> Kaylin Gok Fuang Khan Doan. Maya Nicole Broussard. <laughs> Isabella Catherine Nunez. <laughs> Diego A. Faguaga. Quentin Manu Fontania. <laughs> Nolani Lay Karen Pablo. Jaden Madison Santizo. <laughs> Tristan James Rodriguez.
Eddie Jace Rodriguez. Daniel Gonzalez. Amaya May Conyers. Trevor Rafael Fuentes Griart. <laughs> Alexia Franco. Precious Chinene Charles. <laughs> Isabella Agustina Chavez. Luis Lee. Gavin Jacob Almason. Victorio Alexander Flores the fourth Jan T. Daldalau Chanello D. Inyaso. Nathan Alexander Espiritu. <laughs> Thomas Christopher Machian. Isabella Marie Navarro. Brandon Hugo Ayula. Nicole Samantha Rodriguez. Christopher Trung Tran. Lila Isabella Diaz. <laughs> Z 
Zachary London Miller. Jacob Xavier Nares. <laughs> Felix Anthony Alvilar. Michael Anthony DeRosa, Jr. <laughs> Roman Oliver Curtis Lee. Tristan Luke Mastin. <laughs> Maddox Anthony Navarro. Gabriel Viegas. Marcos Sanchez. David Alexander Gallardo. <laughs> Sanai Sherrod Lambert. Chase Daniel Williams. Diego Sol Ibanez. And we would also like to recognize Thomas Pham, who was unable to be here with us today. <laughs> graduates, please stand. The last graduate, having received his diploma, please transfer your tassel, signifying a successful completion and accept the applause of all gathered here today.
Graduates, please be seated. It is my pleasure as religion coordinator for St. Catherine Labore School to present our religion award. This award is given to two students in the graduating class. The criteria for receiving this award is based on religion grades, participation in religion class, service in the community, and overall exemplary Christian attitude. The following students are the recipients of our 2021 Religion Award. Maya Broussard. And Tristan Mastin. We would now like to honor our students who are receiving honors at entrance into high school. Please stand when your name is called. Chanello and Yasso, honors algebra, honors English for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Lila Diaz, honors biology, honors geometry, and honor Spanish for St. Monica High School. <laughs> J.N. Daldalau, honors English and honors geometry for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Diego Fagoaga, honors geometry for Bishop Montgomery High School. MLA, Honors Biology and Honors Geometry for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Lois Lee, Honors Biology, Honors Geometry and Honors Spanish One for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Kaylin Magpock, Honors English for Bishop Montgomery High School. Tristan Mastin, Honors Algebra for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Hannah Moosey, Honors Biology and Honors English for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Isabella Navarro, Honors English for Bishop Montgomery High School. Lauren Nanato, Honors Biology and Honors Geometry for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Sky Nuesca, Honors English for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Angie Rodriguez, Honors English, Honors Biology and Honors Spanish Three for North High School. Eddie Rodriguez, Honors Biology, Honors English, and Honors World History for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Tristan Rodriguez, Honors Algebra, Honors Biology, and Honors English for Bishop Montgomery High School. <laughs> Jaden Santizo, Honors Algebra and Honors English for Peninsula High School. And Gabriel Viegas, Honors Biology, Honors English, and Honors Geometry for St. Monica's High School.
We are very fortunate at St. Catherine Labre School to have sources of support for continuing Catholic education at the high school level. level. However, due to COVID-19, many of our donors were unable to contribute this year. We were fortunate to have scholarships provided by the Italian Catholic Federation and the Knights of Columbus. The recipients of the Knights of Columbus scholarships were selected by SEL teachers and administration based on students' academic career and their participation in school and parish activities. The first scholarship is from the Italian Catholic Federation. Will the representative from the Italian Catholic Federation please come forward? Good afternoon. Um, on behalf of St. Well, we're, we are from St. Anthony's, but Father lets us participate in this here. And it's a privilege and honor because this year, it's, like you said, it's been most difficult, but a lot of our donors donated enough money that we are giving out more scholarships than we ever have this year, which is a miracle. Our scholarship this year is gonna go to Mikey DeRosa, also my nephew or my niece, my, ne my cousin, whatever you wanna call him, in honor of my, his mom and dad and my mom in their memory. Mikey, can you come forward, please? The Knights of Columbus would like to present a $250 scholarship to two graduates that will be going on to a Catholic high school. These students have demonstrated leadership, service, and academic excellence. Will Mr. Flores please come forward to present the scholarship? Hi, my name is Vic Flores. I'm with the Knights of Columbus here at St. Catherine Labore. Good morning, thank you all for uh, coming and congratulations to all of you. Uh, we'd like to offer our, uh, we'd offer, uh, we'll, we'd like to uh, offer congratulations to those people, uh, those two students presented with the scholarship for $250, uh, Ms. Hannah Lucy and Tristan Rodriguez. Can you please come up? We would also like to recognize at this time two of our students who are receiving scholarships from the high school where they are attending. Uh, St. Monica High School has selected two SCL graduates to receive scholarships. We are pleased to recognize Lila Diaz who is receiving the leadership scholarship of $10,000. And Gabriel Viegas, who is receiving an academic scholarship of $5,000 per year. Congratulations. Class of 2021, today we celebrate the end of your journey as a student at St. Catherine Labore School. This year has been a year like any, unlike any other. Despite the challenges you have encountered as a result of the pandemic and distance learning, you persevered and were determined to work hard and support each other. You are stronger and more resilient because of this. You will continue to have many opportunities to grow while you are in high school. And you will also continue to be faced with various challenges that will help shape you. Graduates, allow me to offer a little advice as you begin your next steps. First, over the next few years, you will need to know who is there to support you. Who are your allies? Who has your back? Who will stand with you in the good and the bad? It will be your desire to spend most of your time with your friends. This is understandable. 
After all, who can relate to your joys and pains more than someone who shares those experiences? But there will be plenty of times when your friends don't have a clue. They will act like they know what they are talking about, and they will offer plenty of advice about how to handle the challenges of being a teenager and navigating through high school. And as important as these friendships are, they're not enough. You will need strong allies who are older and wiser than you. Your parents have enough wisdom to help you when things get confusing. You will continue to meet teachers and coaches who care deeply for your success. Listen to them. You will not always like what they have to say, but remember they have been where you are and have made it through. Second, as you wonder what the coming years will hold, think about living your life today in the manner in which you in wish, in wish in the manner you wish to live your life eight years from today. Eight years from now, you likely will be graduating from college. Over the coming years, there will be many chances to sacrifice your future. One of the greatest mistakes that so many high school students face is not the lack of vision for your future. The greatest mistake will be in how their lives today do not align with the vision you have for the future. If your vision for the future involves going to college, then how are you living life now to fulfill that vision? College is not sim something that simply happens. It is the, resu the result of many small decisions over the course of your high school years. Live today like the direction of your life now leads to the vision you have for your future. Third, you are valuable. Consider our society for a minute. We are told in so many ways that we are not good enough or smart enough or good looking enough or outgoing enough. We use social media to compare ourselves and often see that unless we have the right clothes, the hottest shoes, the latest piece of technology, the right friends, the perfect family, no drama in our lives, that we are not valuable, that without these things our lives fall short. But this is what I hope you hear most plainly today. You are valuable, exactly as you are. You are worthy of love and acceptance, exactly as the person you are. Finally, and most importantly, trust in God. He is the reason we are all here, and he will be your support when you need it the most. My hope for you as you go into high school is to use this advice to add good to our world. Our choices, the kindness we extend, the ways we apply our minds and our heart do make a difference in our world. Class of 2021, I wish each and every one of you the very best in your future. No matter where your journey takes you, I know you will make us proud. At the end of each eighth grade year, students prepare an essay, a farewell to SCL. One is selected to be read at graduation. If you listen carefully, you will understand why Lila Diaz's essay was chosen to share with you today. Lila, please come forward. Good morning, Ms. Begary, Ms. Hebestray, teachers, staff, family, and fellow friends of the graduating class of 2021. Whether it was 11 years ago, a couple years, or even months ago, we all stepped foot into a new circle of life. Although this circle didn't show off pretty lights and loud music like a Ferris wheel, it brought a display of pretty memories and loud commitment. Now we are stepping foot off this eventful ride and paying our tickets for a new one. SEL has brought so many new achievements and new discoveries that have helped us grow as students, learners, and explorers. Today will mark the new ride we will begin, taking along those tons of lessons we learned, the values that we gained, and the new future ahead of us. Let's reflect first on some of the seats we let carry us through our time here. I know our final moments here were shared in strange ways, and maybe in ways we didn't quite want. But that also strangely reminds me of all the strange recesses we would have inside due to the rain. That rain would create a block in our playtime, 
but that didn't stop us from playing and hanging out with each other inside the classroom. Just like we did not let this fearful virus stop us from continuing our final year. Seeing those raindrops hit the ground and hearing the screams of the younger kids every time the thunder boomed. Now we have witnessed those raindrops fall from our bedroom windows and now we would hear the ongoing Zoom ding every time somebody joined the meeting. Same event, but different occurrences. This class has spectacularly adapted to the new occurrences and adjusted to a new way of lecture, no matter how tempting that leave meeting button seemed. Same event, but different occurrences. We let that change carry us into stronger and better students and people. We continue to sit in that seat and let us hit the adrenaline of our highs and see how our achievements call to us. Compared to how we see the busy streets and city with an array of lights and feel the relief when we hit the highest point of the Ferris wheel. Continuing on into the year, we hit our lows. Some losing motivation or maybe seeing our grades change or maybe simply getting overwhelmed by our new environments. We felt that ride bring us to the fall point and let our view only see the bottom of the ride platform. But then we continued and eventually hit the highest point again. Because now we are sitting here amongst each other about to walk ourselves to a new ride. This new adventure might be scary or exciting, but we have all mastered the lesson of learning that change should not be fearful, but rather guiding. We have taken so many steps, taken so many tests, played many games, learned from many teachers, and yet we are ready for a new future. But we still have so much more to build. Like each and every carnival ride, they are built with a structure. And in our lives, structure is important. Continuously in English class, we learn essay structure is important. In building projects, we learn structure to build our models and our designs. In our faith, we learn that structure and connection helps us get closer to God. And in our minds, we discover that structure is a major key to success. Since we were little, we were taught to continue to grow from our mistakes, continue to grow for our dreams, and continue to grow from our actual nature of just growing up. As our minds develop through time, we continue to experience things that help us collect those blocks, rails, bindings, and strings to complete our structures. What the wise words we hear, the life lessons we endure, and even those many awkward talks we had about ourselves in seventh, seventh grade science class we learn to construct and form a value that can carry us throughout high school. No matter what tries to destroy us or break us down piece by piece, with our growing power, wisdom, intelligence, and integrity, we can complete our structure and climb on to our new ride. With the many minutes, hours, and days spent here at SEL, we have grown to be active students independently. Dan and did a wonderful job. Thank you, Ava. To all the many, many parents and friends who helped us to get to this day, whether you helped with today or you helped with preschool, it's because of you that we are here. And so I want to thank you also. So graduates, I'm going to dismiss you one row at a time. Ms. Ward has already gone over to the hall, and that's where you will Whoops, Ms. Ward is going over to the hall. <laughs> and that's where you'll drop off your gown. You may keep the hat, you may keep your tassel. Please make sure if you have a pin that you take the pin off of your gown before you turn it in. The cords are yours, those are all your mementos, all of your hard work. And then when I call your roll, please go over to your parents and give them a big hug and thank you. And then whatever pictures they wanna take after that is fine. So, first row. Second row. Make sure you tell them thank you. Third row. I hope you're gonna be cleaning that up afterwards. We have mass here tonight. Fourth row.
Fifth row. I guess I won't play. Sixth row. Last row. I'm sorry. And we're not kidding. so wonderful seeing you. Thank you. Thank you. It was really <laughs> nice to be here. Thank you. 